The time has come for all those who are wondering how to build an APK file using Blender and Armour 3D. I'm going to show you right now in this video and guess what, we're not using Armour, uh, Armour 3D, Android Studios. We're going to do this completely inside Armour 3D and Blender. Now the first thing I want to do is to get the Armory. Oh my god, I can't talk. The Android SDK. Now, this is pretty hard to find. It took me quite a while. I had to go via um, Codeworks uh, by NVIDIA. But, to help you, I, ha I will put this in either a Dropbox or a Google Drive link that you can download. You need to download this Android SDK Windows 10.zip file and don't unzip it. It's about 2 gigabytes? Jesus. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's a bit hefty, it's 2 gigabytes. Whatever you do, don't unzip it, but that's that's the price you have to pay for obviously building your Android app inside Armory 3D directly. But I suppose Android Studio is much bigger than that, so it's not too bad. Now, we are inside of Armory 3D with Blender, and we go to our preferences. Go to Armory 3D, and click the drop down. Now we have our SDK path. And this is for the Armory SDK for the actual uh, um, plugin itself. But we want the Android SDK, not the Armory SDK. So we continue going back down and go to Build Preferences. Once you get to Build Preferences, you'll see Android SDK Path. Below you've got HTML5, but that's no point. That's export to web. Once you have this Android SDK path, you have to nav nav navigate to where you downloaded the zip folder of Android SDK.zip, which is here, is where I downloaded it to. Now, once again, I, I, I will leave the links in the description below so you can download it directly. And once you have that selected, you can just close out of this. Now, to set up the build, what you need to go is to go to the render tab go down to Armory Exporter, add a Android C++ or whatever the C stands for, C Sharp, C++, I'm guessing. Click on C, um, Android C and select Auto. Once Auto is selected, you need to give it a name. I'm going to call it APK Build, I guess. That works. Anything goes. And we need to, well, we don't need to, but I'd like to give it an icon. If not, it gives it the default parrot icon. Uh, I don't like that one too much. No offense to the parrot. Where's my downloads? Uh, I'll use this coconut here. And the coconut's going to be the um, icon. Now, this is very important. If you're wanting to upload your Android app that you're going to build now to the Play Store, you need to have the SDK compiler um, value API higher than 28 because it only accepts 29 and above now 29 stands for Android 10 I believe and 30 is Android 11 yes I'm pretty sure that's it so just leave it by default and you should you should be fine now what I like to do is build APK after publishing that's what you have to do and what I like to do is to rename the APK to the project name. So the APK file would be called APK build. Okay. Uh, you would obviously give the name of your game, like APK build. You would probably call it like Candy Crush or Battle Royale or whatever the hell your game is. <laughs> and go down to the Armory render path. We need to set this to mobile by clicking mobile. And leave all these things by default unless you want to add some post processing, such as most uh, probably Bloom. That might be a good one. Uh, apart from that, you should leave everything as is. And once you have done configured everything, it may seem like a lot. If it is, you can just like rewind the video and watch it again and do it step by step. Uh, I forgot something. The render path. Once we set it to mobile down there, we have to set it to mobile up here. Uh, just so and um, um, um 3D doesn't have any problems, we just define all the paths, so it doesn't have to guess. And once we have done this, we have to. Well, we don't have to. I'm gonna get the 
console up so we can see what's going on because if not we if we don't have the console you might be confused and might be waiting for a long time so it's important to use the console for this and we publish after saving the blend file <laughs> we save the blend file I've saved that on the default thingy and we save the blend file and we can now go to our CMD console our, yeah and it is exporting the scene now one and this can t depend on your scene this can take quite a while right now it's just exported the AAB file which is Android Studio um, source code so you, now you can input this and compile it in the Android Studio source but we don't want that we want it to build automatically which is why we selected this build at APK after publishing so it's just published it this is the published values uh, folder and it's building behind here it's building the APK it's at 61% 64 and uh, once this is done you should have another folder that pops up just like the Android Studio um, um, files here it should pop up uh, with your APK file all done and dusted Now, if you want to know how to export and compile uh, your game to web, uh, such as HTML for WebGL, uh, you can find my tutorial on that on my home on my YouTube page. Uh, there will be a link to it in the description. And also with that video, it's a, there's a, a follow-up of how to host your game using Google Drive for free unlimited hosting with no errors and no money needing to be spent which is pretty cool and it's uh, really useful and we have our APK now I have an emulator installed called Nox so I'm going to open it within the emulator and as you can see it built the default cube within one minute so if you have a big scene with multiple um, uh, multiple objects in that scene this can take quite a while I'm guessing up to uh, about 10 minutes as you can do, see this is my previous build which is the parrot which is what Armor 3D gives you by default I'm just gonna wait for the APK file to get installed and it should have my coconut there we go here's a coconut and it should open by default and congratulations ladies and gentlemen if you have any questions whatsoever please give them down in the comment there uh, in the comment section below it's been many months since I'm trying to do this with Android Studios and I never once managed and all I figured all I we had to do was actually zip the Android SDK up and select in Blender because I, I knew this feature was available for a few months now but I never understood how to do it because there's no clear documentation uh, that I could find anyway and uh, here we go, this is a video that I hope will help a lot of you to build your own APK files. If it didn't help or if you have errors, make sure to watch the video again before commenting to make sure you did follow everything in the video. And until then, well, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.